we've got some sheep under the drift here. We've been lifting about 40 yesterday, yesterday digging them out. So um, what I'm doing is I'm using the dog now. He'll use his nose and um, hopefully we'll see an air pocket. Where the air pocket is, the sheep will be underneath that. And then it's the old um, spade and uh, muscle power. It's third day for some of these sheep and they're heavily pregnant. Um, they're weakened, they're carrying a lot of snow on them. It's, it's not a nice scenario. And I think the dog's just found the sheep he's digging up there now, so we, we, we better make a move quick, boys. He's found the sheep here. All we can see is its head <laughs> and its ears. So we need to be digging this one out now. And this is a disaster. It's a disaster for rural um, uh, farmers out, out here on the mountain. You know, my um, family's been collecting sheep the other day. They've got 150 missing. We haven't counted ours. So this, this is the problem that we're looking at. We don't know what's under all this. We're just finding the, the odd one. There could be hundreds of sheep lost in Wales. We've dug 40 out yesterday. We'll dig a few out today. You know, this is all we've got is a spade and just brute force, you know, brute power. It, it's a killer. It is an absolute killer. I've never seen anything like this. It's just bloody heartbreaking. How many more? I don't know. You know, you worked so hard to bring your stock up. And then a natural disaster like this, could absolutely devastate a lot of farms. <sighs>